going on guys, it's Jake here, back at it again with another food review. If you're new to this channel, welcome. If you have any thoughts, comments, opinions, just leave it down in the comment section down below, and we can banter back and forth. Anyways, for today's food review, we're actually going to be diving into uh, the, a Danish tree from a manufacturer in North America, Pillsbury. So it's like a pastry with a jelly filling and uh, an icing on top. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Is that Brian?
focus. back at it again with the uh, summary of the fruit review of triple berry uh, pizza strudel from Pillsbury. So uh, the, the pizza strudel itself is very simple. Uh, it has origins of So, out of the package, uh, you get your strudels and then you heat it up. You can put it in the microwave or you can put it in the toaster, or you can put it in the toaster oven, or even the oven. I think the oven is over here. And I don't think it's suggested for a microwave just because it's kind of like a flaky baked uh, good. So, if you zap it in the microwave, Understanding what it is and taking it out of the box is very simple. So, along with the Danish the pastry, uh, it comes with a package of uh, icing. So after you put it, for me, I put uh, my uh, my pastry in the toaster for four minutes, and then after I let it cook. I didn't freeze it, I left it in the refrigerator, so I took it out of the fridge, I took it out of the packaging, and then I just popped it in the toaster. For four minutes from the fridge, uh, it turned out very crispy, very flaky, and then after, immediately after it came out of the toaster, uh, I added the icing immediately. Typically what people like to do, they cook it, they let it cool for a little bit, and then after they add the icing, just so the icing doesn't melt on the pastry. But for me, I enjoy my icing melted, which is, it adds a nice touch to it. Like, runny, melted icing on top of a baked good, it's really good. So, the review on the uh, triple berry, um, triple berry pastry there from Pillsbury. So, just immediately biting into it, uh, you taste the three different berries, which was really good. I feel that uh, the pastry itself, it's kind of lacking like actual fruits itself. So, yeah, that's my thoughts on it. It's good value for your buck if you enjoy something that's unique, that's different, that you can make at home super easy. Yeah, that's my thoughts on it. Uh, in terms of rating, I would have to give it, uh, in terms of taste, it's unique, I'd have to give it an 8 out of 10, just because you can't be fresh, this is like processed goods. And in terms of value, I think it's like $3 for a case of 6, so, uh, yeah, I think that's a good deal, uh, 50 cents for each one, it's not too, too bad. Uh, once again, if you actually were to get baked goods from a bakery or like a mom and pop shop, each strudel would be like, I think a, a package of six might be even 
at six bucks. So I think the value for what you're paying for, I would give it an eight and a half out of ten. Anyways, that's my thoughts on the Pillsbury Strudel from Pillsbury. And until next food review, guys, peace.